laughing at us. Where's Zoe? The first Mafia is really Zoe's well getting so big. Okay. No, we have to get back to John Wick 2. Okay. So, John Wick 2. I am super hyped for this trailer. I want to say the couple of things that stood out of my mind for the trailer. One, love the dog. Two, we got the car back. Three, we got John Wick back. Morpheus. Dude, we got Neo and Morpheus on the same screen. I can smell a I was so happy. Easter egg already. I was so, so happy when I saw that. Having Morpheus, having Neo on the same screen, that actually had me a little hype. I mean, I was already hyped because it was a John Wick trailer. And y'all know how much I love that first movie. Like, that movie was so dope. Yeah. I cannot We're wait. Gonna, I'm going to watch it after we do this. We, we will have to watch that again. Actually, no, no, no. I was thinking, um, after we do all this, Jason Bourne or Star Trek Band. I say Jason Bourne. Jason Bourne? Jason Bourne. Okay. So we're going to watch Jason Bourne later. Um, just because I haven't seen that. And somehow I missed it. And mwah, that's for you, Zo. That's for you, Zo. Be good, little girl. The chat thing is actually kind of helpful. Especially when you actually have people watching. It's, Live chat. It's <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, oh, my any other time, it'd be like so so crazy. Uh, so our friend um, go back to are, you, are you streaming? Okay. You that's all right. We don't want to waste too much story. You know, you, you've done this part. So you know, this. Somebody to destroy all right. nerds. But, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm totally happy about John Wick 2. We watched a couple other trailers earlier. We also watched uh, the Power Rangers trailer. Yes, that was... Uh, I'm, a, I'm, a little, I'm a little interested in the Power Rangers. Like, at first, I was only going to watch Power Rangers because Elizabeth Banks was in it. Yeah, she's actually going to be Rita Repulsa. I, that was the only reason I, I like Elizabeth Banks. <laughs> All booties matter. Uh, <laughs> I like Elizabeth Banks. And so, you know, I was looking forward to, to seeing her. And I was going to watch, I was going to watch Power Rangers because it's like, you know, childhood and all that kind of stuff. But it was legitimately like, had going on. It's like after actually after legitimately watching the trailer, I was kind of like, I need to see this. I Ooh. need to see this. You pointed out that it reminded you a lot of um, Chronicle. Chronicle, right? So I've been trying to brought it up the first time, and I didn't want to take credit like it was my thought. Thank you. My son brought up the fact that it reminded him a lot of Chronicle. Just that one scene they show, and spoilers, you haven't seen the trailer already. The scene that they showed, they come wait, across... Wait. If you haven't seen the trailer, stop now. Actually, no. Don't stop now. Just come back and you can watch it later. Go ahead. But the scene that they show, essentially it's just like, hey, kids come across a mysterious alien artifact and get superpowers. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I saw that. I saw that when I watched Chronicle. It also reminds you a lot of what was the one you said it was? Breakfast Club. Breakfast Club. So if Chronicle meets Breakfast Club and Breakfast Club had a baby and had five kids. Black Ranger, Red Ranger, uh, blue, blue Black Ranger, yellow, Ranger. pink. Yeah, there's Black Ranger. Usually Blue Ranger. No, 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 no. No, the black oh my god. What? Yeah, the ones I remember, he was a Blue Ranger. The original Power Rangers. It just hasn't been. Okay, I give you that. I give you that. Like, the original Black Power Ranger was a black dude. The original Asian Power Ranger was... Do you think they changed that? The I mean, like, it was one of the things... But you know what was really funny? The dude that plays the Red Ranger in this trailer looks a lot like David Yost. Who was the Blue Ranger? And I know that's like nothing, but when you watch, if you are a grown A geek like me and you're around my age group, we ain't talking about that, but if you're around my age group, take a look and just kind of peek at that. And it seems like the guy who's going to be Jason, the Red Ranger in this one, he looks a lot like Blue Ranger from before. Now, the only Ranger that wasn't one of the original Rangers was the Green Ranger, who became the White Ranger later on. You guys, I, I remember that because okay. the White Ranger came back from the future, right? And that's one of those prominent so, Power Ranger moments that stick out in my head. Like, hey, White Ranger comes back, he twists his belt, time stops, and he 
He grabbed like a million bullets. My thing was like when he was full. and he would play the little flute on the sword. <laughs> I that was that, that was the thing. I mean, that was the coolest thing ever. But Power Rangers definitely looks like a great Power movie. Rangers isn't like. It seems a lot like <laughs> Breakfast Club. Punch Pose Explosion. <laughs> no, but still, they've got a legitimate budget this time. Oh, Michael Bay is a director. <laughs> Everything blows up for no reason at all. Oh. <laughs> So. I remember it does that definitely looks like this. Oh! Come on, pay us. We got we got stuff happening in the other room there. The wife. So is that enough for Power Rangers? I was worried for you. Um, I posted there was a recent <clears throat> there was a recent movie poster for Old Man Logan, and if you decide. To jump into our group, you can see all of this information because we post all of this stuff every day. You got me posting. You got uh, Majin Vegeta. Uh, PT Red, he gives us game information. Mike, uh, Michael McLeod, he gives us game stuff. Dwayne posts things from time to time. Coming in daily. So make sure go to Facebook, find the group. Grown A Geeks. It's the word Grown, capital letter A, Geeks with a capital G. Grown A Geeks. That's where the term gag, <laughs> that's where that comes from. So gag gamers, gag real, you know, it's Grown A Geeks. But uh, And actually, you know what? I, I haven't even told you about this. I came up with the logo concept. Did I tell you about the logo concept? Yeah, I came up with a logo concept. I got that in the works right now. We already own the domain. So we have... I've already got, um, let's see, what do we have? We have a YouTube channel. We've got um, a Facebook group. We've got a Twitch account. And we got we got to hit Logan real quick. Um, we got a Twitch account. We got a Facebook. We have a page. We have a group. We've got a YouTube channel. I want to do this full time. I have to figure out a way to like feed my family and provide for everyone so that I can do this full time. So share, share, share. Start with this. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Make that a thing. Go ahead and do that. Okay. Talking to you. Talking to you. Because I'm live. I'm I'm simul simulcasting. I'm simulcasting. <laughs> I buy a cat. You know what? I was by curious, but now I'm by sure. I probably that joke. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm sorry. I, <laughs> don't let that hinder your ability to subscribe. Look, I'm a grown geek. I am drinking, okay? I'm having my Dr. Paul. That's Dr. Pepper and Paul Masson, for those of you that are curious. I'm having my Dr. Paul, and that's what it was. But anyway, we've got a lot of stuff happening, and I've got, I've got a logo plan. Little rubber, like little. Um, I plan on making designing a t shirt. My wife, who's in the other room, so she may actually. Maybe she'll come in here. I don't know. <laughs> I want to do real, real soon, and I'm going to make a lot of that stuff happen. And it's, it's actually going to be pretty dope. Oh, my sister. What What is my sister name? <laughs> See that? Anyway, that's something totally different. My brother, actually, my, my brother tagged me in a post earlier saying that science says the firstborn is the smartest. And <laughs> yeah, I just lose it. That's all. Whatever. Lord Luttrell is posting in group right now. Grown a goes down. So go to Facebook, look us up. We have a group. We have it happened. Well, both. Um, yeah, go ahead and just like both. It's actually worthwhile. But we got a real quick recap. We got to talk about Logan. If you are in group, and let me say this now. Should we do a little spoiler discussion? Of old man Logan? Okay. Yeah. There's Spoiler. a graphic novel, there's a Spoiler. new comic series, and then there's a movie. 
there is a graphic novel that exists. There's a, there's a current comic series. Now, in the original graphic novel, the main thing that took place, Logan has not used his claws in like 50 years. Okay, there was a big war. A lot of heroes died, things like that. A lot of stuff took place. A lot of heroes died before the big war. They did die before the big war, but it was the big war that caused a lot of people to die. Still not over it. In doing so, Logan has not, you know, he's not retract or extended his claws in like 50 years. And in doing so, that's where we get the story of Old Man Logan. Some of the heroes take over, things like that. A lot of stuff happens. And one of the now, things... Now, it's really villains, because Doom Control is like most essentially... Uh, well, you got... Kingpin Control is like the King East Pen, Coast. You've got... Most control the... The Hulk family. West and Hulk Coast. isn't even a villain. But that's a major, major star, story point. In fact, I don't really want to spoil it. I'm going to say... Go in our Facebook read. group. We have a link that links you to the graphic novel, which you can read the first several chapters of Old Man Logan. So make sure you follow us and look for that on our page, so you can catch yourself up and keep yourself updated and educated. You know what? In fairness, I have to give a major shout out because Silver Surfer. There is a page on Facebook, Silver Surfer. I cannot do this in in good conscience without giving him a shout out. Silver Surfer actually gives us all the links that I post in group. He makes all of that available. And I don't know if he gets in there, but he... Love it. You actually found a comic book website recently. Hello. Members that are curious about some of the things we talk about, and they're not really caught up on the comics themselves. So hellocomics.to, I use Comixology, which is an app. I use Comixology. Uh, hellocomics.to, I've had a chance to keep up with a lot of that. I went and bought some comics the other day, some of you I saw. See. I bet you really bad. Okay. It looks but like it's, it's a game. Like a vintage movie. It really does. Mafia 3 really does. Look cool. That's something we have to make a point. Okay, we have to go. We have to go into the next topic. So, Old Man Logan for the next Wolverine movie, they are going to be talking about Old Man Logan, and that's going to be a big thing. So, make sure you're checking that out. Um, they announced the villain. I don't think they did an official announcement for the villain. I did hear some talk about Mister Sinister, but it's funny because Mister Sinister was not in Old Man Logan. Video. You know what? Did I just thought about it? When we played that earlier, and that truck blew up right there, that video did get saved, because I didn't have the video archive in turn. I thought we would be able to go back and watch it later. So, um, anyway. DC needs an unlimited monthly pay. For what, their comics? Yeah, I would be guessing it's their comics. Dude, I completely agree with that, okay? Because I'm a, okay, everybody knows, if you don't know, I am Superman, okay? And as Superman, I primarily read DC. I have the first, what have the first three issues? I have the first three issues of the new Captain America, the Hail Hydra issue, and all of that kind of stuff. If you don't know what I'm talking about, go check that out. Captain America's yelling, Hail Hydra. Star Wars reference. I, no, not even the... <laughs> we got a Star Wars reference. I was going to do the Spongebob meme, and I was going to be like, you know, oh, what's going on? Spongebob. You know, Spongebob, like, just completely thrown off. Because I was a little shocked. I could, not, I could not figure out what was happening with that. But... That sparked a lot of controversy as well. It did. Just the fact, just the fact that Captain America actually showed it, it, I mean, nobody even took time to read the next issue. They were already just like blowing up about it. Because from what I read, it was like apparently the man who created Captain America was of Jewish heritage. So it was like, hey, this comic came out set in the era of World War II. Nazis. Hydra is supposed to be the reflection of Nazi because it branched off from, you know, the, uh, what is it called? The First, First Reich? First Reich. So Hydra is essentially Nazi cast offs, and Captain America is punching Nazis. Punch and Hydra. He, here you he have, actually knocks out Hill. Hitler. Yeah, he knocks out Hitler. He has an so issue. Of, Marvel wrote an issue where Captain America beat up Hitler. So the fact that they took Mark. this 
specific hero who was supposed to fight against this and made him work for that was like a big slap to the face to them. It really was. And I, and honestly, I think it did the character of Marvel or the, the character of Captain America, and it didn't really hurt Marvel at all. I mean, things are only so cute. You know what's crazy, yeah, though? Things. You know what's so crazy? A lot of people may, may not remember this, but they did the Hell Hydra issue of Captain America on the day that DC launched Rebirth. Marvel... Y'all are some assholes. Man, I'm going to just say that. What's okay. happening a Rebirth? That is crazy. Well, see, that's the problem with DC. Three years, and they reset their entire universe. It's better than having six different cannons out in one simultaneous time. <laughs> DC is actually the worst about having so much happening in one time. But all comics are, all comics are guilty. I mean, it was Infinity War. It was a secret war. But even then, and even then, the, no, 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 the Infinity Gauntlet into things. Bring it back in. Even then, you still have the problem, and all comics actually fall into this trap. And I, I forget who I was talking to about this. No, you know what? I said I was going to shout them out next go round, so I'm going to do it. I'm a member of a couple other groups. I have my own group. I love my group, Grown A Geeks. I love y'all. Y'all are my people. But I'm also a member of the groups New Nerd Order. I'm a member of the good, the bad, the nerdy. So I got to give a shout out to both Hank Bird and I got to give a shout out to Kara. I can't say you're not so, going to do you wrong like that, girl. Because if I tried to say your last name, I would so screw it up. But I'm, in a, I'm a member of a couple other groups. And of course, I also do the journey of the extraordinary black nerd. I'm, I'm a member of all of those groups. But and you're bringing in a lot of bowls, which is a lot of bowls. But you know what's funny? Because I know a lot of the information gets shared borrow from them, and sometimes I notice they borrow from us. That's not a problem. The whole it's point a, is to embrace a, this geek culture and bring symb- people symbiotic, in. Symbiotic. symbiotic relationship, yes. Well, I think of uh, Venom every time I hear that. It's ironic. Symbiotic so, Venom. shout out to Hank. Shout out to Kara. I don't know the other dude's name that does the extraordinary journey of Black Nerd, but... Like, I just I just don't know his name. It's not disrespectful. I don't know. Got like 30 admins, <laughs> but I don't know who he is. Anyway. Um, but I do need to poke. I don't have this keyboard plugged in for that laptop. I don't want to do that. Give Sammy my best. Throwing up some gumbo. Yo, can, you type, can you type right there on the Yo. keyboard? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Okay. Type Twitch. WW. Oh, Thanks. Uh, TV. Slash. Ag. Underscore. Blessings mine, man. Gamers. Couple of days back, and they already got you working? Ah, I'm happy to do it. Means a hell of a lot to all of us. Don't get old, son. It's a oh, man, Mafia 3, man. 10 out of 10. You get to serve gumbo. I'll see what so. I <laughs> no offense to all our Louisiana folk. If you love some gumbo, you need to play the game. You know what I'm saying? I do. I, I, well, it wasn't like I started talking in that southern accent like they was using in the game earlier on. We got the colonel up in this piece, and he was doing his thing. Oh, you, he did. <laughs> I want to speak to the combo attack. I, um, so, okay, the good, the bad, and nerdy. Kara, that's my homegirl over there. You know what I'm saying? She posts a lot, a lot of great stuff. Patty, how the hell are you not a member of Grown A Geeks already? I'm a little upset at that. I just want to say, like, what the hell? And yes, of course I will approve you. Of course, I'm going to approve you. So Why did it tell me she asked you? I have no idea. You're a member and all members. Any member got to approve other members. Anyway, okay, get back, get back, get back. Here's one more. No, we weren't. We had not years yet. I was literally in the midst of something when oh, I we were talking about, about, um, what was about? We were talking about Marvel and DC. And we had to talk about 
Marvel and DC, and they're both guilty of multiple not, timelines. Multiple. Okay, okay, see. <laughs> okay, it's a little Okay, 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 wait. Okay, okay. So, all right. Kevin! Sponsor us! I'm trying to get sponsors. I really want some sponsors. If anybody knows how I can get money to do this all the time, please tell me. Somebody was telling me that I needed to make this a uh, nonprofit organization, and I just felt like something was. But when you want money, no. I want to be for profit. Like I mean, I we want can to get paid. We can do something with okay, the no, extra let me clarify. money we no, don't let use. Me I want to get paid for doing this because I enjoy I do. doing this. Shut up. I enjoy doing this all the time and pay my bills. That's where you get paid for doing this. That's a no. There's a difference between and being able to afford to do something for free. Boom. Hey, that's only a concept of what it's like to be rich. Okay, so maybe I want to be rich. But I'm not sure. Who does it? Anyway, look, there are people on YouTube that have like millions of viewers. I just want to know what I got to do to be one of those people. How do I get a million followers? So tell all your friends, tell everybody to join and follow and watch. Because I'm trying to be where they at. Damn it, we ran into an hour already. Okay, so anyway, Old Man Logan, Marvel is guilty, DC is guilty. Everybody has multiple timelines running at one time. If you think about it, comic book characters tend to have, like, let's just take Superman, because that's an easy one. You got the Man of Steel, you got Superman. You got, what comic do you want me to pick? I'm biased. You want to call me out front on me. What comic do you read? The Punisher in. We got Punish we got Punisher War Journal. That's a that's a story that he runs in. He runs Warzone. in we got uh, what was it? Crime and Punishment or Capital Punishment. Capital pu Capital Punishment. Um just the Punisher, Punisher Born, which shows his uh, days back in Nam. That, that was pretty savage. Uh there's there were, other ones are just kinda <laughs> called Punisher. <laughs> Punisher Oh man, it's funny because Mafia 3 takes place during, during the Vietnam, Vietnam War. Maybe he knew Frank Castle. Well, maybe he is Frank Castle. Because you see, maybe, no, this is not like Frank Castle. His name is Franklin Cage. His name is not Franklin Cage. What's, What's his name? Franklin His what? name is Lincoln Clay. Lincoln Clay. He is the Black Punisher. We're going to call him Franklin Cage because this dude is like unnecessarily is swole. He, honestly, he's just the Black Punisher. He does, he's doing what the Punisher does in Louisiana. Wait, 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 wait. Watch this segue. Watch this segue. He's like, what, Joe? Luke Cage. Like Luke Cage? <laughs> Funny you should mention that. Because Are Luke Cage know? is on YouTube. Not YouTube. He's on Netflix. <laughs> Pretty sure he's on YouTube as well. I had no excuse. But that's why y'all keeping me sharp. Anyway, so Luke Cage. That's what we're going to talk about now. Don't. Not yet. Watch it yet. Watch Daredevil season two. You can watch Luke Cage while you're watching Daredevil season two. I'm going to say that you need to watch Daredevil. I've seen all the episodes. I've watched the entire season of Luke Cage. First of all, they, without a doubt, have the dopest soundtrack. I oh, thought Suicide man. Squad had a dope soundtrack. Let me tell you. They got live performances in Luke Cage. You got uh, Jandina, which I'm a fan of because I love my girl. I can't think of her name, but she's the arc android. Janelle Monet had to come to me. I love, love Janelle Monet. Love Janelle. Um, but anyway, she's, she actually, her uh, production company, Wonderland Music, hosted Jandina when he first started. Now he is blowing the hell up. And remember that song, Classic Man? Classic Man. Yeah, he performance on the show, Luke Cage. So Luke Cage did a wonderful job with their live performances. I saw Luke Cage 
Um, I saw Raphael Sadiq. I saw um, Delphonics, I think it was. I saw Method Man was on there. He was spitting some bars. Yeah, Method Man was on there. Um, a couple other people. I can't. I, the M-A-T-H-O-D, name. T H O D man. Uh, I have to find this one song just because I cannot think of the guy's name, but I have a song by him, and that will tell me right away. Um, Charles Bradley. Charles Bradley was something like this. No, 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 no. Amber alert right now. Amber alert. So, but we can't just ignore that. But we gotta say something. I, like, you know what? We're gonna do the responsible Somebody thing. Amber alert. Give me that. Give me. Who's got it up? Who's oh, got we it all. Up? Okay, we're all um, terrible. So we're not terrible. Yeah, like we're bad people. But there's an amber alert. So Lakeland, Florida, Amber Alert, license plate number four, J, J is in John, L is in Lisa, two six, um, Alabama plate. It's a 2012 silver Nissan Versa. There's an Amber Alert for Lakeland, Florida, license plate four, the number four, J is in John, L is in Lisa, two six. I'm guessing AL would mean Alabama license plate. Alabama license plate. It's a 2012 silver Nissan Versa. Just feel like we got to do the socially responsible thing because, you know, it interrupted what we were doing. But uh, nonetheless, so they got a lot of dope music in the in the uh, Luke Cage soundtrack. <laughs> I have to find the link. I know there's a link for it. And in fact, I want to say that we posted the link in the New Nerd Order of the Luke Cage soundtrack. Um, if you guys request to join that, I'll, I'll invite you. If you're a member of Grown A Geeks and you actually ask to join the New Nerd Order, I will accept your membership. Um, I will also accept your membership inside of the good, the bad, the nerdy. I want to give a shout out to those two groups specifically because I'm a member of both of those groups. and Both of their main admins are incredible people. Um, screenwriter Hank Bird. That was the guy I was sitting there. Do you remember that name when I said Hank Bird? That was the guy that actually wrote the screenplay and I took, uh, took a message with him and whatnot. I had a whole conversation with him. Anyway, don't worry about it. I remember the conversation. Um, yeah. I want to give a shout out to Hank, by the way, because... Um, there's a movie that came out in like 2002, I want to say it was. It's called South Central. And the actor Glenn Plummer, who played an incredible character on the movie Oz, he was um, best known, one of my favorite roles, he played Mercutio on... Um, no, Marcus, yeah. Romeo and Juliet. He was on Romeo and Juliet. And um, you know what? No, wait, 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 wait. I said Glenn Plummer. Those are two different people. Glenn Plummer was in... He, the movie was South Central. That's the movie, South Central. And I just mistakenly thought Glenn Plummer was Harold Perrino. So I just made that mistake on my stream. But I caught it. So it's okay. Because I fixed it. So Glenn Plummer. Glenn Plummer's, you know, he's done his thing. It's all good. Um, but nonetheless. Is there a backstory for Luke Cage? When they watch Luke Cage, they know who Luke Cage is. Yes, Jeffrey, you absolutely can. Yeah. Sorry. I just had to post because somebody was hitting me up in group. But, um. So, Hank is actually going to be, he's the one that will be writing the script. He'll be writing the screenplay for South, the sequel to South Central. I don't know if it's going to be called South Central 2 or what the case may be, but he posted that the other day in the New Nerd Order. And I just want to give a big shout out 
to Hank Bird for that. You know, congratulations, homie. That's that's a great job. Um, I got a budding screenwriter right here. He writes a lot of stories. He's he's got that mind. He's got that imagination. So we're gonna push him in the right direction to make sure that he can do that kind of thing. Um, got a future teacher over here as well. So you know, we're we're really trying to mold these new minds coming along, coming along. Um, but you know the two groups I'm in, so I'm gonna I'm gonna post this there to those two groups. But um, I feel like I segued into something totally different. I know I started off with Logan. Back to Luke Cage. <laughs> <laughs> I know I started off with Logan and Luke Cage and all that. The soundtrack and all that. It's great. Um, Luke Cage was an amazing television show. It was set in Harlem. It's got a modern day feel. And it takes not really an obscure character, but it takes somebody that a lot of people are not familiar with. And it makes them relate. You still need to be playing because we are running. Um, but Luke Cage is, is one of the few well-known revolver. That's oh, new. The cowboy game. You only got five bullets for that bad boy. Boom! Blood that choke slam. Um, but Luke Cage is one of the, I can't really say obscure superheroes. Because a lot of people... Let's know. He's he's a B list hero. He's 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 a pretty big deal. Though. He oh, is a big deal. That's why I say he's higher. he's a B list. Civil War. But admittedly, if you didn't read Civil War, if you didn't watch, if you didn't play the game, you know what I'm saying? If you didn't play Marvel Ultimate Alliance, if you didn't read Civil War, it ain't like people was just running out there like, oh my god, Luke Cage is my favorite. There's a few people who are, of course going to be like, oh no, I've always liked Luke Cage. Like Black Panther. Black Panther got really popular at Civil War. The movie Civil War came out. Everybody knows who Black Panther is now. That's not to discredit who he was before, but I really need y'all to stop pretending in front like everybody was just walking around talking about I wasn't Black Panther. Panther before he wasn't big. You know what I'm saying? And it's the same thing with Luke Cage. You know what I'm saying? Now he's got a TV show. Because even honestly, I'm going to say Deadpool and Daredevil. Exact same thing. There were some people who were fans of Daredevil and Luke and uh, when the movie <laughs> Mama swear that they was a fan since day one and damn. <laughs> everybody swear they was a fan since day one and that ain't that's that gamer skill right there that's I'm fine that was gotta execute happen. You gotta execute. If either one of them are still moving, you gotta execute. That's all I was doing earlier. I was just, I was straight up execute. But um, oh, I mean, I can't see that. so yeah, when it comes to um, Luke Cage, you know what I'm saying. One of the other things that we saw, they've got a trailer out for Iron Fist. Who? Luke Cage and Iron Fist, along with Jessica Jones and Daredevil, make up the Defenders. And Those if you're a member of the Heroes of Fire, well, I want to say Heroes of Fire was Luke Cage and um, Iron Fist. But the Defenders is Luke Cage, Iron Man, not Iron Man, but Iron Fist, Fist Daredevil, Daredevil, Jessica Jones. For them, they make up um, the Defenders. And they've got a Defenders TV series dropping in a little bit. So that's actually coming to Netflix as well. Netflix is really like on their game. When it comes to all of the stuff that's out there, like they they are on it, man. And so if you haven't already, again, Daredevil season one, season two, you got um, Jessica Jones, Jones season is available. One. Season one, you got Luke Cage season, season one. one coming soon. You're gonna have Punisher, Punisher. They're doing Punisher, they're doing Iron Fist, and they're doing the Defenders. All that's like guaranteed. I got you know what I got. I can't get wait props. until I don't. Wait, you start, bro. Because okay. I was, I realized what I was gonna say was like it's already a thing. It's too late to say it. But um, I was saying, oh, I can't wait till they do Daredevil vs. Punisher. That's all of season two. You no, know? right? Because they do. They and see, and honestly, that's why. And I'll do a little bit of spoiler here. 
So, spoiler alert. Jessica Jones before you watch Luke Cage. Because I don't really feel like this is so much a spoiler as it is properly prepared. Jessica Jones. So if you watch Luke Cage and you haven't watched Jessica Jones, you're actually doing yourself a disservice. And if I tell you to watch Luke Cage if you haven't seen Jessica Jones, I'm doing you a disservice by not informing you that you need to see Jessica Jones first. So that Daredevil is season one. Daredevil season one. Jessica Jones. Jessica Jones. Daredevil season two. Daredevil season two, Luke Cage, you can run those together. Mm -hmm. Absolutely agree, because you threw a Molotov cocktail. I didn't. It was already one of So right here, you have what options do you have for the guns? Because I see a couple of different guns. Oh, uh, there was a shotgun. I got some Molotovs in my hand. What is that right there? I didn't see that little gun. Back room. I so didn't even know that was back room. That's the beauty of being able, like, we've done this before, technically. This is your first time doing it, but you saw me do it earlier, and I didn't do that, and now you did. So, so that's, that's, that's pretty cool. Anyway, um, so that's what we got. Um, Logan, just so I can touch on Logan, and we'll, we'll jump right to that. I just want to speak on this real quick. On the next Wolverine movie, they are basing it on Old Man Logan. Shop, and you can watch Old Man Logan. Well, now you can't watch it yet, but you can read Old Man Logan. You can read the comic, the graphic novel. It's out there. It exists. You can go to what was the website you said? Uh, HelloComic.to. HelloComic.to. You can join our group on Facebook at Grown A Geeks. We have a Facebook group and a page. And we have a link to the comics and stuff in there as well. All you got to do is like search Old Man Logan and I'm sure you can pull it up. But um, they're going to use the storyline for Old Man Logan. I don't know. It did not seem like they were going to use the Hulk. I don't know if they're going to use Hawkeye. There's a lot of stuff that is kind of spoilery that I just, I don't know that they're going to do that. It would be great if they did, but I don't think that they will. Um, if they do, that would be awesome. But if they don't, it doesn't really shock me. Um, but anyway, we don't have a lot of details on Logan just yet. We're just kind of based off what we do know. And that's all we really know at the moment. Moving on. Um, we're about to close this out. So the last thing I want to say, next week, be sure to tune in because you'll be back at school then. This one will be back at school. So... Uh, he won't be here with us, which makes me sad because it's my son. One of us. <laughs> it's one of them, yeah. I got two. I'm in the phone. Well, <laughs> <laughs> only one person. You're not going to miss it out. I miss your brother. Have a moment. You're <laughs> I don't know. But, yeah, he'll, he'll be gone. And, um,. I just want to pop that. And it's good. Love that. But, you know, we're going to miss the kid. He, he, he won't be here. <laughs> and, uh, but nonetheless, so he won't be here. But next week, we will actually be showing Gears of War 4. If you are one of our members, one of our group members, and you can find her on Twitch, Splenda. Let me say that very carefully. Splenda. Like fake sugar? S-P-L-I-N-D-A. Splenda. I think it's like Splenda MGS or something like that. She's one of our group members. She posts on Twitch as well, and they're supposed to be running Gears of War 4. In fact, I'm going to send her a message real, real quick just to see what's what. Uh, she said she was going to be running on. Um, she's going to be running on Twitch, and I want to say. Wait, what? The revolver. Thank you. 
karate. I'm trying to find I'm trying to find Linda on Twitch real quick because no, I can't see the mini map, so like I'm not gonna have a way out of here. It's dark. Um Oh my God, we were just talking about the Defenders. Why am I saying that it says Sigourney Weaver will be the villain of the, the Defenders? Sigourney Weaver? I have to forget. <laughs> oh my God, that was so the triggered moment. Like, I was going to just like lose it, straight it out up on you. Then I had to remember that you're my son. Not as old as me, and maybe you don't know this though. So. Gordy Weaver is um, an avatar. She's an alien. She's. Oh. I mean, so Gordy. I don't know why I knew that name, but that's that chick. Like, let me. Like, have, you know how you want to say, like, that's that dude? That's that boy. That's that girl right there. Like, so Gordy Weaver, it don't even matter. Is she oh. there? I'm there. Ooh. Just because it's a corny week. Crap, so bad. But it says that um, blah, 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 blah. Rumors were that the main villain would be Mephisto. But that either there's some gender bending going on or the villain is someone else. Speculate away in the comments. Um, Hell, that's her garbage. I think how you Netflix know. actually announced that Sigourney Weaver would add another classic science fiction franchise to her filmography. She would be the main villain in Defenders. That was actually posted in Gizmodo about three hours ago. So Gizmodo is one of my things that I, I stay up on just so I know what's going on in the world. And I gotta share that. We're gonna write we're gonna we're gonna write a post for that. It goes to Grown A Geeks on Facebook at GrownAGeeks.com. Actually, don't go to the website yet because it's not live. Go to Facebook, do a search for Grown, the letter A, Geeks. Grown A Geeks. We are so going to light, light that up in a second. Talk on now, let's go! We, just said, we have to finish this up real quick and then we're going to be done. So I'm not even going to write nothing. I'm just going. I don't even have to say nothing. Sigourney Weaver. By herself speaks all the volumes. Sigourney Weaver is my waffle. Eddie Goro? Did really say that his favorite black character was Eddie Goro? Russ Hacken? Yeah, hey, bro, no. Nah. Well, like. There is another one. Tekken 7. Is that the Tekken Tag Team? They had Tekken 5, they had Tekken 6. Now they got Tekken 7 getting ready to drop. That'll be... Nobody knows. The Street Fighter came out, and Street Fighter's having, no, like, I mean, character DLCs. Like Let's try to get this little piece of foil out of my drink for the longest. But I ain't going to worry about it. it. I'm, I'm like, it's a yeah, good thrust of iron. It's, <laughs> I'm get this little piece of foil, which is aluminum. I love to look at that right there. Preparing for a DC film usually doesn't work out. Preparing for a Marvel film, they read comics. No, that actually, I'm not even, I'm not even going to get into that because that actually does say a lot about the franchise. That would turn into a whole DC Marvel. That's debate. another stream. That is another stream. By itself. By, yeah, like we won't have shit else on that topic. So let me put my phone down. But look for Splenda MG on Splenda. Twitch. Yes, because when she posts stuff, I post stuff, and that's my home girl. Oh, and she be on Twitch all the time. Oh. Hit it. Can you jump up yes, there? It's too high. She jump up. So if she can, that would be so awesome. I have a border collie. I want to move the camera just so y'all can. Back. Come here. Uh-uh. Look. Oh. No, stop. 
you not hurt. Uh, the first time I see him and I get picked up at the wrong time. I bought her collar. Because yeah, she looks like Oh, baby. he's my baby. Yes, he's my baby. Okay. She doesn't like being picked up, though. So she's going to get down. Bitch, and she gets picked up all the time. <laughs> get it? Sounds <laughs> coming up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm about to hit this right so hard, boys. You don't even that super hard right that you just passed. <laughs> you turn, you turn, you turn. If you if you do a trick, I think you get a you get one and you die. But, um, oh my god, we're like what? How how long? Have we, we're a minute and twenty into we're an hour and twenty into this video, so we're gonna wrap this up. But uh, Gears of War four comes out next week. Have that pre-ordered at GameStop, so we will be doing a live stream for that. This one, he won't be here for the live stream that day, but you can tune in. I have this one here, and we'll do the live stream. Um, Gears of War has always been one of my favorite series. Literally, like, when I say right behind Halo, as far as a an Xbox exclusive, a first-party title, they have really brought it with Gears of War. Gears of War 1 and 2, super fun. Gears of War 3, I felt sad. That. I felt that. I didn't even play Everybody it. has the same I didn't moment. even beat Gears of War 1 or 2. I played 1, touched up on 2, like the first four missions. And that was, I didn't even play Gears of War 2 before I even played Gears of War 3. I played like an hour of Gears of War 1. I played in B3. And I was crying at 3. Like, why am I crying? Like, yo, I'm not even attached to this character. I was so attached. There's a moment in the game. Alexis. Huge Gears of War. Alexis. Alexis! Gears of War. I'm just going to shout her out. I mean, why? Thank you. I was like, why would she not watch this? She got a straight shout out. Hey, you. Why are they not in the group? Are they over 18? That's just lame. All these niggas do is go to college? Who does that? I just go to college. I don't do anything else. <laughs> Nerds. We're geeks. Nerds need to become geeks. Upgrade yourself. Now they're real heavy. Uh, Cora, more specifically. An avatar? No, Airbender. Yeah. Oh, okay. No, no, no. That's that's what's up. Like, my friend Rachel, she's real heavy on Avatar. She loves that. Avatar is the kind of thing that like they could totally bring that into grown egg geeks. Like I would be totally okay with that. My main thing is I didn't want like nine year olds joining grown egg geeks. I don't even like it. They graduated high school. I'm good with them. They can. They don't necessarily have to be on Facebook. But Incoming. They should be. <laughs> Are you, really, are you really like punching random bitches in the street? Why, why did you bad. do that? I just wanted to see. That was good. so bad. I already caught that, hey, man. That's her left or right. Uh, your map says go right. <laughs> You're only going further away. Almost. You almost got that 180. Anyway, this is just mess. We are gonna. We're going to, do you want to do that next week, Gears of War? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'll have my time tomorrow. So we're gonna play Gears of War next week. We're gonna show that one. Linda may actually show Gears of War this week, so we can find Linda we can and broadcast uh, online at this point. She's like on Broadcast party chat. Well, I, I have it set up. No, I, I have it. Yeah, yeah, we did that when we did Destiny. We actually have streamed a couple of things before, but I didn't have the archive turned on, so nothing was showing before. But today it's going to start showing because we're going to do that. Quick shout out to myself. Go to facebook.com. Shameless plug. I'm, I'm, I'm encouraged by the shameless plug. But go to facebook.com. Look for the group Grown A Geeks. Grown Capital A Geeks. Find us on Facebook. We have a page. We have a group. You want to be in the group because the group is where it's lit. Wait. Um, 
that's that's about it for us today. We talked about all the topics. We're about to hit that hour and twenty. We're in an hour and twenty five minutes. I don't want to go past an hour and thirty. So we're gonna wrap up. Joe, anything, any other thoughts you want to include real quick? We talked about John Wick too. We talked about the power rankings. Yes, we talked about Logan. I don't really feel like we did. Gears of War, we're going to stream that next week, so that was kind of brought up. We talked about Luke Cage, which you haven't started watching yet, so I'm going to say, like, bro, get on it. Like, my I, kid, I need, I need you. Right? It's not my fault. But okay. that's, that's a good, good reason. reason. That's a good reason. <laughs> I don't care about your friends. This is my son. In the same situation. All right, but John Wick 1, that, that was a great movie. Great, great watching. This Keanu Reeves being a badass, so, you know, why would you not? For that reason. Uh, John Wick 2 looks like it's going to be even better. Oh, after you see the first one. Power Rangers looks amazing. Chronicles of the Beats. Uh, the Bearish Club, both those movies were good. So, I'll be honest, maybe not be great. Logan, Old Man Logan. I had that bitch I on read Blu-ray. That. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My bad. How the hell have you not seen Blackfish Club? Blackfish Club. Blackfish Club. Oh, okay. God. Right, that's that's why you can't drop. I'm Old Man Logan it was a good graphic novel, so definitely curious to see how they're gonna go with the movie. Uh, Gears of War Four. I haven't played Gears of War. I played like Gears of War Three, but this one here. Uh, Death Horde Death mode. Horde mode. Horde mode. mode. We was we was killing that shit in Horde mode. Yo, remember that? Yeah, <laughs> I remember <laughs> that. Uh, like it was some good days. Uh, we had mode. to go in a Horde mode back. Definitely, I, what I played, I live, so I definitely do it. <laughs> Work, uh, flash, I cannot wait to I get into the horror. What's it called? Multiple, multiple, Marvel Ultimate Alliance. Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I like Luke Cage in that, so I'm very, I, when, when I heard they were making a um, series on, I was like, ooh. Then I gotta go watch Jessica Jones, I haven't seen that. And we'll get you caught up. Definitely so, interested in Iron Fist. Check them out, follow us. Nothing else to say. All right. Mo, final thoughts. Everything that we've talked about is amazing, and if you haven't been interested in any of it, you're living under a rock and need to stop. <laughs> that was that was so generic, but I love it. That was that was actually kind of cool. Anyway, also I, me being a third party person, um, for my own two cents, what I'm about to say is completely irrelevant. I read manga. And I'm really heavy on Vagabond right now. So anybody out there who reads manga and likes it, read Vagabond. Please read it. It's amazing. People die, man. Just just read it. That's all you need to know. Read it. They, they died back in the Edo period. Yeah. So here we go, wrapping up my final thoughts. Um, First off, everybody that decides to watch this video, if you make it to the hour and 30 minute mark, congratulations. Say, not only congratulations, thank but I want to say thank you. We <laughs> love you. Exactly. Like, thank you. Um, hit the subscribe button down below. We'll do a little bit better, but we were actually live streaming the game today. And I have both. <laughs> it's amazing what happens when the three of us are together. We have so much fun. They keep me young. They're geeks in their own right. And I'm blessed to have two kids that are as awesome as they are. I don't want to get sentimental, so I won't. But I, I just I love that I got. Well, I, I love right? that I, I got wish I knew somebody me. like me. Um, Mafia Three. Everything I've played about the game so far definitely seems like it's something that I want to play. Storyline definitely seems interesting. Um, my current rating on it is a. I, I throw it at a 9 out of 10. From what I've played so far, I give it an 8.5 out of 10. Um, and that's somebody that didn't even beat Grand Theft Auto 5. It was really? just like, yeah, I mean, it was so much to do. Like, you could just do the story missions. I know, but I just kept getting you lost with all the side crap. You know what I'm saying? I think. But Mafia seems like it's a little bit more linear and it would be a little easier to get through. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Um, next week, we are going to live stream Gears of War 4. Linda, if you live stream it today, great. If not, don't worry. I got it. We're going to cover it next week. Um, wow. Let me thank Corey. Yo, I appreciate you sharing. Um, Anthony, I appreciate you watching us. Tabby, 
What's going on, boo? Miss you. Hope everything's going good. Tell Zoe I said, hey, give her a kiss from Grandpa Superman. Um, I'm Sam, Superman, host of Gag Reels and co-admin and co-creator of Grown A Geeks, which you can find us on Facebook at Grown A Geeks. Hey, look on Facebook for the word Grown, capital A, Geeks. We're there. We have a website. It'll be going live real soon. And all of this will be available on the website, and you can just keep it simple. Anytime, I'm Sam, Superman, your primary admin. I'm out. I got Joe. This is Batman Joe Monk right here. This is my man Mo. I'm saying like just here. Joe Monk Batman. L M U N K underscore Batman. You're on what? What all are you on? I'm on everything. That's is it the same name, yes, Joe yes. Monk underscore Batman. I think we have that coin. Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter, Tumblr, but it's a dash instead. Call me. I'm on. I'm the shit that I mentioned earlier. You know what I'm saying? We got we got a Facebook page, a group. We're on YouTube. You're probably watching this on YouTube, so that shouldn't be a shock. We got an Instagram, Grown Eight Geeks, um, and we got a website. The website will go live in just a little bit. So you know what I'm saying? Um, got Mo right here now. A lot of times when I'm not streaming, Mo is streaming. And what's your Twitch name? My Twitch name is Afro Sleeps, Afro underscore Sleeps. Yeah, I'm sorry. My Twitch is Afro underscore Senpai, S-E-N-P-A-I. Uh, I usually stream uh, Metal Gear, Hand of Fate, uh, sometimes up, Overwatch. What's the one you've been playing lately? Like, all day. I have a wizard currently. Wizard? Uh, there's a lot of games we play. The, ma the magician. Oh my god! That's all you played the last couple of days. Smite. Smite. Uh, uh, oh, Smite. Uh, I was like, how the fuck do you not know this? Oh, uh, because the drugs are magicians and gods. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so I don't know if you play Smite. Smite. It's bad. I don't want you all to see that. So <laughs> that conversation did just happen. I would say Overwatch, but I'm bad at Overwatch too. Look, dude, when it comes to streaming, I suck at everything, but I still stream that shit because it's not about being great. Yes. It's about playing. I mean, I mean, when I stream Mafia, I was streaming some Destiny the other day. All right, you'll see more of me, and I'll talk more in other videos. I'm going to actually post and stream and have stuff up. And be cool like that, because right now he not. But we gonna make him cool like that. We gonna make him diggable planets. The song is cool. Whoa, what's going on here? Oh! Uh, the song is cool like, cool, like that, cool like that, and that's cool. diggable planets. And that's why I said we gonna make him like diggable planets. How the modern rap is. Yo, I gotta take a shit. Eat that garbage. I should watch that song. It was on I don't want to do that. No, I don't want to do that. No. Um. I love that my I love that my YouTube group is so lit. Dude, I'm really not. Gonna, oh shit, that is not the keyboard. I was so trying to type on this keyboard for that. I keep forgetting that that's not the keyboard. So, so, here, you can definitely I'm telling you, man. I was looking, I was like, how are y'all not getting this money out? I was so. Is not gonna be worth it. This was like the laziest heist ever. Like, I would have still been so. I would so be making this shit happen. Cool like that. I like that I typed in the word cool, and that was the very first thing that came up was cool like that. I'm saying, like, this used to be like me and my brother. Like, 
But you know what? I can't be mad at YouTube because I get they got to make their money too. So they got to watch commercials and shit. I be that shit. So remember, it's to keep everything free. It is to keep it free. And it would be awesome if this shit played through the speakers. I want to be back. My, I'm just going to move the microphone over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what? You got the game pause, right? Yeah. Man, somehow or another, my ass done literally managed to get a little slurred. Like, that was not the plan. <laughs> we probably got to watch the same damn commercial. 30 cent commercial. Okay. So we're going to stop this over here. Rebirth is slick. Y'all remember back in the day. You know what? It just occurred to me. Mo. Alexa, ask Tina Roses. What's your move ads? I don't know that this will get loud enough. It just occurred to me. But what I can do is put this speaker right by that microphone, and maybe we can jam out for a little bit. What does it need to be, my guy? An hour and... I really want to like... I want that music just so in what we're doing. I don't even know what the fuck is happening right now. Stop that and go to... Follow me, J O M U N K, Joe Monk underscore Batman. Watch out for my streams, Afro underscore Senpai. I'm pretty sure they didn't hear none of that shit because they got the speaker right into the microphone. Look out for my. <laughs> you was a fool. You was a fool. I can't type. <laughs> I need How many glasses there. did you have? Shut up. Went to me? This is. Oh, God. Ice Jay Bip is rolling again. Are here. <laughs> good. I don't know why, but good. I don't think I've stopped everything. Are we still on Twitch? We're still streaming on Twitch. Put Twitch up. Folks, what's up? Love y'all. Appreciate y'all being here. Um, thank you, everybody that's where y'all at. 
appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Keep watching. Be with us. Go to VG. Hey, if you was watching us today on tit on Twitch, tits. On Twitch. <laughs> if you was watching us on tits, like I need to know what the hell you was watching because I didn't see that. But nonetheless, I thank you for watching. You know what I'm saying? If you decide to go back and watch this video later, I thank you for that. You know what I'm saying? Because we wouldn't be able to do this by ourselves. And it takes everybody for this to be possible. And I want to do this full time. I want to keep y'all informed and keep y'all up to date and current with everything that's available. All the good content that's out there. I want to share that with y'all. I'm a geek in my own right. If you ever find yourself on Who Wants to Be a Millionaire and your question is about a If you like comics, if you like anime, if you like movies, if you like TV shows, you can be a member of this group. This is the Twitch page, and I just want to everybody that may come across this video, because I did some little parameter things to change so that a lot of people might see this video. I want to encourage you to go to Grown A Geeks on Facebook.com. You know what I'm saying? Go to Facebook.com, sign into your profile, look for Grown A Geeks. Add yourself to the profile. Not to the profile, but add yourself to the group. I'll take a look, and if you got anything on your profile that indicates you're a geek, you can get added in. You know what I'm saying? Because it's all about love. It's all about bringing people in. It's all about the membership. It's all about adding folks. You know what I'm saying? So come on in. Be a part of what we got going on and help this shit blow up. Bring your friends. If you like what we got to say, bring other people and make them a part of what we're doing. It's great. You know what I'm saying? I'm a grown A geek. My boys is about eight. You know what I'm saying? These niggas 18. They, they grown. So be a part of what we're doing, man. Join this movement. Everybody going to be a part of this. I need to be at like 10,000 members like some of these other groups that's out there. I want to do this full time and keep y'all entertained constantly. Help us get big. We can't do it without you. Fan base is everything. We need you. We love you. We need y'all. We love y'all. Bless us. You're already a we'll bring you another one. Join if you geek. here, you watching this. If you watching this, you's a geek. If you's a geek, you're doing it right. What is you doing wrong? Just go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give me some more followers. Add your friends. Let them watch the shit we do. It should be funny because even if they not here, I'm still going to have me a drink while I'm playing the game. It's all good, baby. We out.